Greetings. Now let us learn about the role of a cold snare in endoscopy. This is a cold snare and it is used for resection of small polyps anywhere between 3 to 8 millimeters and it is also used to remove a plastic stent from the bile duct or from the pancreatic duct and in addition one can use a cold snare to remove long foreign bodies for example a pencil or a pen ingested by patients with psychiatric illnesses As you can see here, we see a small polyp on the screen and we decide to remove with a cold snare. Unlike a hot snare, which requires connections to the electrosurgical unit, with the cold snare, you don't need any of that. You remove the polyp by simply using mechanical transaction or a guillotine effect. The key to keep in mind, the key fact to keep in mind as an endoscopy assistant is to work with the endoscopist and when the endoscopist asks you to cut, you should cut it fast. And when you cut it fast, the polyp will get transected easily. On the other hand, if you cut it slowly, then it becomes like a drag to cut through that submucosal tissue. So one important technical fact that you should keep in mind when using a cold snare is when the endoscopist says cut, you cut cut fast. So let us look at it. From an endoscopist point of view, when you see a small flat polyp and it looks benign, doesn't have any features of cancer, then you could use cold snare. On the other hand, if there are features to suggest advanced pathology, it is better to inject lift the polyp and then resect so that you could have a better assessment of the depth of the uh, cancer. With cold snare, the resection tends to remove just the mucosa with or without the muscularis mucosa. When you inject, lift and cut, you get a much deeper resection that allows you to assess the polyp histology better, especially if there is a concern for cancer. So that is something to keep in mind. So now let, let us learn about how to use a cold snare. So when you place the snare around a polyp, it is important to place the snare with a little bit of normal tissue surrounding it. Uh, that is enclosed by the snare. And when you post the snare, it is almost important to keep in mind that you post it like a flagpole. The plastic sheet should press at an angle and that pressure down on the angle fixes the plastic sheet there to allow the closure and cutting of the polyp. If you don't post the plastic sheet firmly on the mucosa, when, you when the assistant closes, the plastic sheet can move forwards and then it may not be a complete resection. So the key with cold snare is to include the polyp in the center and a little bit of normal mucosa 
and anchor that plastic sheet onto the wall. And then when you ask the assistant, the assistant is supposed to close it fast so that the cut is like a guillotine cut. When you remove a polyp with a cold snare, you should see the polyp and the surrounding normal mucosa as if you are seeing the sunny side up of an, of an omelette. So polyp in the center and a little bit of normal pink mucosa surrounding it. In that way you could ensure that you did achieve complete end block resection. So why do we use cold snare instead of a cold biopsy? We want to get a complete resection. When you take small polyps out with a cold biopsy forceps, there is a high chance that the resection could be incomplete with a cold biopsy forceps. On the other hand, if you want to use a cold snare, you could achieve complete resection but the most important point is to post that plastic sheet firmly on the mucosa and not allow that to move forwards when the snare is closed and let the snare cut the polyp like a fast guillotine effect. So this is very important and I hope you keep this thing in mind. Thank you.